we'll guide you through how to download and install CurseForge and then play with mods or mod packs. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Now what's super important to know is that you do need to own Minecraft for this to work. So you need to have paid for it before and have Minecraft Java on your computer. But now let's get started. So you'll need to go and open up a web browser. I just use Chrome and then come to a search engine like Google. And just before I show you CurseForge, I want to give a big thanks to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting are one of the best Minecraft hosts out there. They've got so many benefits like one click mod packs, instant setup, 24 seven service support, and many other awesome features as well. And I use them myself. And also at the moment, you can get 50% off monthly plans. So if you're interested, I'm going to go and put a link in the comments and the description as well. So you can go and check them out. And then what you want to do is go and search for CurseForge like this, and then come to curseforge.com. Then go to the top right and click on get CurseForge app like this. So you can get either of these. I'm going to go download standalone just like this, and the download will then start. And then what we need to do is close off our browser after the download is finished and open up our file explorer and go to our downloads folder. In your downloads, you should then find the CurseForge installer. I'm gonna go and run it just like so. And then what we can do is go and press on next. You can then choose the installation folder and you need to read and accept the terms and privacy policy, which I've already done. And then you can go and press on accept and install. Now it's gonna do a download and install so you can sit back and wait. It's now finished and there is an intro. Personally, I just like to skip it. And now what we need to do is go and choose the game. So we need to go and click on Minecraft Java Edition and then we need to go and set it up. So I just go for the standard option. So press continue and then it's gonna go and get Minecraft ready. And here we are. So now all you need to do is go and click on browse mod packs and you can choose a mod pack you want to go and play with. If you just want to see mods instead of mod packs, then go to the top left and you can click on mod packs and you can then select all or another option here. So let's just go and play in, we'll go for the pixel one. So go and press install here and then it's going to go and start just like this. Once again, you just need to wait for it to download and install. Pixel one has now finished. And so you can go and press play here or go into my mod packs, click it here and press play. But I just want to show you how you can also go and install mods using CurseForge as well. So let's go and change the filter from mod packs to mods in the top left here. And let's just say I want to go and play with just enough items. I'd go and press install here and then you can go and choose where you want to install it. So I'm gonna go and create a profile because with a profile, you can have different collections of mods. So maybe there's a certain server you want to play on which requires some mods. You could then have a specific profile for that server. So let's go and press on create a new profile and I'm gonna go and name this um, server mods or something like that, but you can name it anything you like and then click on create just like that. And now it's installing it into this pack that we sort of made ourselves. So I'll show you that in just a moment. It's now finished and what you could do is go and click on browse and then say you wanna install another mod to that, press on mods, you can choose one. It is important to note that it will need to be compatible with the other mods inside of the pack. So let's say I wanted to go and add this as an example, I'd click install, I could then press on select a profile and I could then select it. As you can see, it is incompatible, but if it was compatible, then I could add it and start creating multiple mods inside of a profile. And then you can come back to the My Mod Packs page and you can then go and play that profile or the pack. For now, I want to go and play the Pixmod mod pack though, so let's do that. So now what you can do is press play here, or you can go to the top and press on my mod packs and then press play from here as well. And then it's going to go and launch. As I said earlier, you do need to already own Minecraft and have it installed on your system as well. As you can see, I now need to go and sign into Minecraft. So I'll sign in using my Microsoft account. And now I can go and press on play. It may need to do another download. So once again, sit back and relax. Here we are in the world itself. So I decided to go and play survival as I think you get the best experience with it and of course you can now go and play minecraft with the added aspect of pixelmon so go and play it see how you find it there are so many awesome sort of features as you can see we also have the mini map in the top right if you guys found this useful then please consider liking the video